Well, the holidays uh, may be over, and with that, a lot of the donating that we see during those uh, giving months, that stops too. Well, it makes it really hard in those months of January, yep. February, March. And we know that doesn't mean people still aren't struggling, so Kim DiGiulio is telling us tonight about a campaign still trying to reach its yearly goal. Well, this may be the world's largest red kettle. However, the Salvation Army of Metro Detroit is still falling short on what they were hoping to raise for this year. While there's signs everywhere that the holidays are over, one of the most popular holiday campaigns is not. We're about $800,000 short. General Lisa Mueller of the Metro Detroit Salvation Army says the Red Kettle campaign is still running through the end of January and they're still short of their goal. So we had an $8.2 million goal. And I know that sounds lofty, but you know that keeps our services going all year long. Services like helping people with rent, youth and senior programs, legal aid, and making sure that people are fed all throughout the year. So just because Christmas is over doesn't mean the problems are over for those we serve. $800,000 does seem like a lot to raise in less than two weeks. But Lisa says every dollar donated adds up as well as help from generous businesses like a recent $50,000 donation. We couldn't do what we do without amazing partnerships and support from from the community. So we are so appreciative and grateful to Pat Milliken Ford for this $50,000 gift. This this closed the gap in an enormous way and got us this much closer to our goal. The campaign wraps up on January 31st. Now, even though you can no longer donate at the red kettles you'd find at local stores and grocery stores. There's still three ways to donate. You can text gift to 24365. Also visit the Salvation Army Metro Detroit website or send a check to the Metro Detroit Salvation Army headquarters. I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. All right. Thank you, Kim. The Red Kettle campaign, by the way, was started all the way back in 1891.